If you're trying to play Breath of the Wild or any game on Simu and you don't want to use a controller, then you've probably encountered the issue where Simu is not detecting your keyboard. You went into your options, you went into your input settings, and you've mapped a bunch of keys to your keyboard, but when you go to play it, nothing works. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get Simu to recognize your keyboard, plus we're also going to configure our mouse so we can play with our keyboard and our mouse. The first thing we're going to need is a tool called VGEM Bus, and this is going to help Simu to recognize our keyboard. I'll put the link to this tool in the description below. Download the latest version of this executable, and now we're going to install it. Go through the installation wizard and click finish. To make sure that it's installed properly, you can open your Windows menu, type in device manager, and then click on view devices by connection, and you should see Nefarious Virtual Gamepad Emulation Bus. If you see this, then it was installed correctly. Next, we're gonna install another tool called Mouse to Joystick. Download the zip file, extract it, and then run the application as admin. Now it's time to open CMU. In CMU, go to Options, Input Settings. Under Emulated Controller, we're gonna select Wii U Pro Controller. For Controller, we're gonna click this little plus button. Under API, select X Input. Under Controller, select Controller 1. This will fill out all of the controller settings here. Next, we're gonna click the plus button again. Under API, we're gonna select keyboard, and for controller, we'll have keyboard. Click add. And now we can start configuring our keyboard mapping. Any keyboard mapping that you do, make sure that you have keyboard selected and not X input. If you have controller one X input selected and you start making changes here, you have to start this process all over again. This can happen because if you close your input settings and you go back into your input settings, the default selected controls will be X input. So make sure to go to keyboard if you're gonna make any changes. Any changes that you make under keyboard, you can make sure that they're applied by switching to X input and it should show them in there as well. You can close your input settings and now enter your game. And now you can see I'm controlling Link with keyboard and mouse. For the mouse movement to work nicely, you want to play around with the X resistance and the Y resistance. The lower resistance, the better movement you'll get from it. Some settings that you'll want to play with here are lock in center, lock cursor, and hide cursor. The most important setting you'll want for mouse movement control is going to be lock in center. This makes it so that you can continuously scroll in one direction to keep turning the camera. In the input settings, you can map the keys to whatever you want and I encourage that you play around to find something that is most comfortable for your play style. If you are still struggling to get this set up, I highly recommend just buying a cheap USB controller that you can plug into your computer, as this makes it so much easier for CMU to detect the controller and also a much more enjoyable game experience. 